Many gardeners enjoy visiting plant nurseries to buy what they need for their home and garden, to see what's new in the plant world, or just a lazy afternoon walk among beautiful plants and daydream about possibilities. I am among the daydreamers. How about you? Do you like visiting nurseries? What do you usually buy? My name is Maya and welcome to Delightful Souvenirs from the Garden. Today, we are visiting the Cedarcrest Gardens in St. John, New Brunswick. garden, they have perennials, house plants, fall plants, pottery, and all sorts of knickknacks. Perhaps Inspiration is one of the most important but free, delightful souvenir we can take away from a nursery. These figurines, for example, makes me think of some friends making cement pottery. I took a snapshot and sent it to them through message. They might be inspired to do something great with this inspiration. Who knows, someday I may even get to try making one of these as well. It's free to daydream, right? What do you think about the price of this plant? Here is another piece of inspiration for me. I scrutinized the design a little bit. Maybe I could copy it. How about this wide variety of pottery? Does any of them strike your fancy? Would you like a touch of sunshine for fall? They have an ocean full of sunflowers in this nursery. I'm very much tempted to get one or two of these. I carried a pot with me while roaming around, but I opted for something else instead. This stone crop sedum is on sale. Look at the price. I have plenty of these in the garden now that started only from a handful of plants from my parents. Right now, I feel so grateful for what is given to me for free and that which has grown abundantly. Many perennials are on sale. Would you plant some of these in your garden this fall? Right now, we are in the middle of August. 
plants are producing well and gardeners feel rewarded by abundant harvest. Then, we anticipate the changing of the seasons when we need to pack up and prepare the garden for sleep. That preparation may include planting perennials. They develop their roots under the protection of snow and show off their blooms next summer. Isn't she lovely? I spent some time gazing at these Z plants. I bought a small plant on sale a year ago, the size of this one but cheaper. It has grown now. Seeing how pricey this plant is, is motivating me to try and propagate. Perhaps another project for my winter garden list. The plant nursery is truly a place not just of fancy plant eye candy but of inspiration. I haven't seen this plant before, have you? They're beautiful but very pricey. And here's what I do when I find something that I really like, but don't quite think we have the budget to buy it. I take my time and take videos. That would be my delightful souvenir. Our budget doesn't always allow for plant shopping whenever I visit the nursery, but I like to visit it anyway. Often, it's for the inspiration. Other times, I get to compare what I already have with the prices of what's for sale. Come to appreciate how much my plant have grown and how much it would have costed me to buy the full grown plant. Today is a bit different. My husband needed to go out of town to do some work. He needed an assistant, so I came in handy. My reward for the job is an afternoon in this nursery. And I may have overspent my wages. I've been dreaming of a rubber plant for a very long time now. Today, that wish just came true. Thank you very much, very generous husband. And the peace lily was a big fat bonus. Do you think Miss Aloe Vera would be happy in these clay pots? Hmm, looks nice already, don't you think? I like these cute little eggplants because they are pretty, but seedlings are very rare, so I'm going to try and plant them from seed next week.
yes, I took home some Margaret Shasta daisies as well. These are perennials so the flowers will die soon, but I'm hoping they would grow during the winter to give me a lot of beautiful blooms next summer. I will have some fall gardening to do. Please stay tuned for these other plants in the garden. And this came home with me as well. Isn't she pretty? I hope that you enjoyed today's garden video. Please let me know by clicking the thumbs up or the thumbs down buttons and maybe you could show me some love in the comment section below. If you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing for more and hit that bell so you'll get notified of new videos. Thank you very much friends, this has been Maya from Delightful Souvenirs.